right? Wait here for our photos while I go inside and wash my hands. All right. Cool, the photos are ready. Oh my god! Selena! 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 That was the police chief on the phone. Once again, he needs our help. Last night, two teenagers were taking photos inside a photo booth. While they were waiting for the photos to be ready, one of the girls, Selena, went inside the nearby restrooms. She disappeared ever since. Alright, but what is supernatural about that? So while Selena was inside the restroom, the other girl, Haley, took the photos when they were ready. In those photos, she saw a masked man strangling Selena. It's needless to say, while they were taking the photos, there was no one else with them inside the booth. Uh, so you're saying the photo predicted the future? It may be the case. Either way, I sure do hope we find Selena safe and sound. You must be Kevin, the paranormal investigator. Yes, I am. Please tell me what happened. Oh, we have one missing girl, Selena Balderas, age 16. She went inside these restrooms and never got out ever since. Her friend who was with her all that time, Haley, said she never saw Selena leave the restrooms. Oh, we dusted for prints, but the place was a mess. Lots of fingerprints. Is there a back door or a window to these restrooms? Uh, no, there's no other way out. Also, we didn't find any signs of violence or traces of blood. And now for the spooky part. I'll get you the photos of the girls. They were taken inside this photo booth. Uh, you can see someone there strangling Selena, but that's not what was in front of the camera. At least that's not what our only witness says. You mean Haley. Alright, do you have any ideas? Yeah, if you ask me, it's just some photo trick and two teenage girls that are starved for attention. Alright, thanks. Everything seems to be clean and in its place. I don't think there's anything in here that's important to the investigation. Hello, I'm working with the police on the search for a missing girl. Have you seen the masked man that appears in this photo? I can't remember, uh, but I do have a photo thrown in here of someone with that same mask. I'm so hungry, I'm not thinking straight. Looks like this photo was taken in a professional photography studio. I need a drink. Give me something good. We only had beer. All right, beer me up, Scotty. My name is Kirk. Hmm, interesting. Here you go. Give me another one of your fine beers. Here you go. Give me another one of... Here you go. Looks like I'm all at the beer. I better head to the storage room and bring up another keg. Haley, this is Detective Kevin. May I speak with you a few moments? Yes, of course. Come on up. Hello, Haley. Nice to meet you. Hello, Detective Kevin. I'm still a bit shaky from all that happened. Of course, I understand. Can you tell me exactly what happened? My parents are out of town, so Selena was here yesterday for a sleepover. We got bored, so we went out to get some fresh air. We passed by a photo booth and decided to have our pictures taken. While we were waiting outside, Selena said she wants to wash her hands in the public restrooms. While she was in there, the photos were ready, 
so I took them. Then I saw this spooky man with a mask on his face strangling Selena. I instantly ran inside the public restrooms to see if Selena was okay, but she wasn't there. Is it possible she ran away without you noticing? No, we had fun, and we planned to watch a movie later. She had no reason to run, and even if she did, I would see her. I was standing right there. Alright, that would be all for now. I'd better get going. See you later. I have nothing. Are you familiar with this photo? Yes, who was taken here three days ago? I remember this guy, but the man in the mask in the background? He wasn't there. So how do you explain this? I think it's computer editing. Please wait a minute while I'm checking it in my lab. I checked it using my best equipment, and I don't think this photo was altered. That's freaky. Alright, thanks for your help. Look what you just did, you stupid customer! I'd better bring something to fix it quick, before it will be empty. The can of beans is now open. Thanks! Now that I have my strength back, I'm starting to remember something. It was summer of 1988. Uh, no, 1989. Uh, the man in the mask had a special show in the Vortex Point Old Town's Fair. Uh, that's all I can remember. Thanks. I had better head to the office so I can search more information about this fair. Carolyn, I have a new lead. I have a witness saying that the man in the mask used to perform in the Old Town Fair back in 1989. Maybe you can find something about it on the internet. I don't think so. There are no online records of the town's fair. I think you'd better head to the town's museum. As far as I can remember, they had photos at the town's fair right at the entrance. Thanks, I'll do that. We're closing you. You must let me in. I'm investigating a crime and it's very crucial I get inside. Yeah, yeah, you'll have to wait till morning. Just like I have to wait to put my hands on a cold beer. I bought you this beer, especially for you. Uh, thanks, but I'm still not letting you get inside. I... Uh, thanks, but... I bought you this beer. I've got to use the restroom. You wait here, and don't get inside. That's the 1989 Vortex Point Towns Fair but I can't see all the details. Now I've got him. That's Coco, the photographic wizard. Wait a minute. What the hell is a photographic wizard? Carolyn, I found at the museum a photo of the town's fair from 1989. There was a booth over there with the man we're looking for. His name is Coco, the photographic wizard. So he was part of the old fair. I remember the town canceled that fair in 1991. Now it's just an abandoned lot at Marshall Square. Oh, and by the way, what is a photographic wizard? Photography is the ability to psychically burn images on a film's negative. Coco the Photographic Wizard was famous for taking photographs. Photos that showed what was in his mind. So you're basically saying that Coco was around the area while Selena and Haley were inside the photo booth, and his plans to kidnap Selena were burned into the photo's negatives? Precisely. And I'll bet if you bring me the other photo you have, uh, the one you got from the homeless guy, 
we will find out that the person in that photo has also turned missing. All right, take the photo. As for me, I'll be heading to the abandoned lot at Marshall Square, where they used to have the town's fair. Consarnet, my axe just broke. Oh my god! Case number 22406. We found Selena Balderas along with another abducted young man named Charlie Ball. They were locked and tied up inside Coco's old booth in the abandoned town's fair lot. According to Coco's testimony, his show at the Old Town's Fair was a smashing hit. He used to show his talent, the ability to burn images from his mind into the camera using only his psychic powers. But there were two local newspaper journalists who didn't believe the show, and by publishing an article refuting his powers, they ruined his career. Coco said that today, more than 20 years later, he decided it's time for revenge. He kidnapped Selena and Charlie, the children of those two reporters, and planned to ask for a ransom. He didn't think his own ability would eventually lead to his capture. I wonder what Coco's thinking about right now, inside his maximum security penitentiary. <laughs>